I got enough. <laughs> I don't want to hear nobody talk no trash about Skrillex because Skrillex is the is the best DJ, the best producer, the best in all EDM, the best sampler, all of it. Bangerang, this much power. Um, scary monsters and nice sprites. Don't go, and I'm not talking about my freestyle. Don't go. I'm talking about Skrillex's. Don't go with um. Justin Bieber on it, and then where are you now with Justin Bieber? Febreze with with two chains. There's so many songs. There's so many good songs Skrillex made, and there's so many. And and like besides that, like look, look at look at um, Ed Sheeran, the Ed Sheeran uh collab or feature that Skrillex had about like and then and then like the um Do West, and then like plus. Like this whole Skrillex dead mouse thing, and like from first to last and whatnot. Like I, I like I really do love Skrillex, and I really do feel like anything this man do is gold. This man is like the golden goose. He just shits out the golden eggs. That's that's, that's just how I feel. Skrillex, you can't stop Skrillex, man. Skrillex was the one that that half of his hair was cut off. You know, like have like long hair on one side, bald on the other side. Now I see so many people out here doing that that hairstyle. Scary monsters and and nice sprites. Shit, I got monster energy right here. Shit, hell yeah, I guzzle, I guzzle monster energy. But you can't you can't tell me Skrillex is bad. You can't say Skrillex Skrillex excrement. You can't say oh who is who is Skrillex. Bangarang, Kyoto, Face My Fears. Y'all never heard those songs before? How y'all go take how y'all go say Skrillex is is trash? This man makes so many good albums. This man got a Grammy. This man done did so much. This man is like literally the hardest working person in all EDM. And maybe even like most of like rap and pop. Beside, besides Kanye West and Drake to some extent also works hard and maybe even like, um, I don't know, a few of these little rappers that do work hard. And I'm not talking about Lil as in L.I.L. I'm talking about Lil as in like Lil Yachty and, 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 and Lil Uzi Vert and people like that. Those that are that can't hold a candle. They can't hold a candle to Kanye West and Nicki Minaj because Kanye West and Nicki Minaj are the greatest alive. Kanye West is the greatest. Kanye West is the GOAT. Nicki Minaj is a goat. And I'm trying to be a goat. I, Lil Teapot, am trying to be a goat. Because I have listened to a lot of goddamn Kanye. Listened to a lot of Nicki Minaj. The Night is Still Young. And Starships. And Super Bass. And I could probably try to name off a lot of, a lot of Nicki Minaj songs that are actually good. Even though like most of her stuff is good because she don't she don't she don't crash. She just make good music. Same with um Kanye. And that's why you can't rate Yeezus. You can't rate none of the, the none of the songs and put it in the order and say this song is better. I mean not this song. This album is better than that album or this song is better than this song. Because Kanye carries. And the whole the whole Taylor Swift Feud is trash. I ain't gonna lie. I can't believe that that even happened. Cause that, cause, cause, cause Taylor Swift got up stage over over Kanye defending Beyonce, aka Jay Z wife, and Kanye, Kanye and Jay Z would um watch the throne and 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 Ham and um Otis. Kanye and Jay Z were like brothers, and then like betrayed now because like the whole political thing and and, and and oh Kanye West is crazy I know this is going into another segue about how great Kanye West is and that I think Kanye West is awesome but this is about Skrillex truly this is about Skrillex this is about how how EDM is in a very good place right now even though BPM they just put on Heartbreak Anthem over and over and over and over and over and over and over they just play the same few songs over and over and over and over and over. And it's like they put on memories and they put on cinema by Skrillex, but that ain't that ain't enough. I want all of it. 
I want the J Balvin, the J Balvin collab or the J Balvin feature with Skrillex and in the ghetto. I want all of it. I want the Midnight Hour, every remix, every edit of Midnight Hour. I want all of it. It's more Skrillex music. I want Sonny, Sonny John Moore. I know that's his, his government name, but still, I want him to get all his credits. I want him to 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 take his masters and make make them make them slaves too. But you don't see you don't see me up on here waging a war on Twitter, waging a war on TikTok, on Snapchat, on 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 Facebook over over Skrillex. I've been quiet. I've been keeping my mouth shut. I just be in the comment section most of the time. That's it. I don't want to hear nobody say Skrillex is trash because this man is awesome. And and if not, then go listen to Reptile. Go listen to the whole entire Bangerang EP. Listen to the reason. Listen to um. Listen to the the Rick Ross, the um Purple Lamborghini. Go ahead and listen to all Skrillex song. The ones by well, the ones by himself and the ones where he was featuring other people. Like 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 Joyride. The song again with a, like go back and listen to everything in the catalog. Listen to the whole song. Listen to all of Cat Rats, all of it, all of um, all of Burial, all of it. Skrillex, it was Skrillex and Pusha T on literally on one song. And literally, Pusha T had a huge feud with Drake, and that's how we're in this huge mess today with Certified Lover Boy. Besides Certified Lover Boy, I literally released a whole song about called is called Certified Fur Trapper. How am I doing these things? Because I can't. Because I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid to rep my French heritage. I'm not afraid to talk the truth, to speak truth to the power, or however people say that. I'm not afraid. I'm like I'm like Eminem when back when we back in like 2008 2009 Eminem released that song Not Afraid. I know it's funny to for me to for me to compare myself to Eminem, but that's how I feel cuz I'm not afraid. This is just how I feel about the music industry and Skrillex and whatnot right now. In the con in the state of radio because nobody will really want to listen to radio no more because they just play Lil Nas X and Olivia Rodrigo all day. And now Sirius XM, they put on um TikTok radio. TikTok already is cringe enough. Why you got to put a whole radio on there? The whole TikTok music. I ain't going to stop until TikTok burns in a fire. I, I'm not. I'm not going to stop until Susan Wojcicki and the whole entire YouTube crew and Twitter and when I just die in a hole. Because this is, this is, what's, go this is what's going on. Because they took down Leafy is here. They took down the best YouTubers of all time. The Taliban of the internet. This is what these people are. These people are the Taliban of the internet. 